diabetes means there's too much sugar in the blood. That sugar is glucose. And just like your car is powered by gasoline, every cell in your body is powered by glucose. In diabetes, the problem is that that glucose can't get into the cells of the body. It just builds up in the blood. So you do a blood test and the blood sugar level is very high. It's not getting into the cells where it belongs. Now to get glucose into the cells, you have a hormone. The hormone is called insulin. It's made in your pancreas and goes in the bloodstream and escorts the sugar into the cells. And in diabetes, that's what's not working. The common form of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, the cells have the sugar building up all on the outside. That insulin somehow can't escort the sugar into the cells. That's the problem. And happily, we have ways of, of repairing that and fixing it, things that we weren't aware of even 20 years ago. Up until fairly recently, people had a completely wrong view of diabetes. They thought diabetes is caused by eating sugar or eating starch and eating bread. And, and that was somewhat logical because if you eat bread, the carbohydrate in the bread does release glucose, it releases sugar, and so it, it will make your blood sugar rise. But it turns out that was never the cause of it. And in fact, in, if you look at the countries that eat the most carbohydrate, like Japan or China, they're eating rice all day long. They're thin, long-lived people with very little diabetes until fast food chains come in and bring in meat and cheese and fried junk. And that's when you see the diabetes coming in, when, when they stop eating healthy, carbohydrate-rich rice and noodles, and they start eating meaty diets. The cause of this has become clear. We now know that type 2 diabetes is caused by the buildup of tiny microscopic fat particles in the muscle cells and also in the liver cells. This is not belly fat. This is not thigh fat. It's fat inside the muscle cells that, that you can't pinch. Uh, you can't, you're, you're totally unaware of it. We can see it on scanning, but you're not aware of it otherwise. And what happens is as the fat builds up in the cell, the insulin can no longer bring the glucose inside. So what's the answer? The answer is get that fat out of the cells, the diabetes will improve. I think of it sometimes as there's a practical joke that some not so well behaved children play on their neighbors, which is they put chewing gum in their front door lock. So you get home from work and your key doesn't open the lock anymore. Well, it's diabetes is a little bit like that. The insulin key can no longer open the cell to let glucose inside, not because there's chewing gum inside, but because there is fat built up inside the cell. And if you've got a cell filled with particles of fat, the insulin key will no longer function. So the answer to it is to get that fat out of the cell. And once the fat exits the cell, the insulin will then be able to escort the glucose inside, and that person may not have diabetes anymore, or they're going to improve a lot. If a person wants to simply be healthy, by getting away from the animal fat and going to the plant fats, that's going to be a big change. That's really going to be good for them because they're getting away from all the, not only all the cholesterol, but they're getting away from what I'm going to call bad fat. That's the saturated fat. It's in bacon, uh, sausage, other meats, and especially in dairy products. Getting away from that's a good idea. But from the standpoint of diabetes, even though I'm especially concerned about animal fats, I keep the vegetable fats pretty low too because I really want to get them all out of the cell. If a person has diabetes or has had it in the past, I keep fatty foods really low. Now, this isn't a zero-fat diet because if you send a leaf of spinach to a laboratory, they will tell you it's 7 or 8 percent fat as a percentage of its calories. You can send one pinto bean to the laboratory and they'll tell you it's maybe 4% fat. There are tiny traces of fats in these foods. That's all the body need, needs. What I'm trying to do is to get away from the person who takes that bottle of oil and goes glug, 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 glug all over their salad, all over their pasta. You don't need to do that. Uh, the natural traces of foods are, are fine.